guys, it's Cassie, and today I have a Fendi Skims haul. Yes, okay, so I will let you know how I got it, the sizing, because I tried on a lot of stuff, what I think of it, what I ended up getting, I'll show you it on, styling, all of that business. We are going to get right into the nitty gritty. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, well, then you're gonna love it here, so head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so. I picked up two things for myself, one thing for my mum. The reason that I got to shop this before the official like online launch on the 9th of November is Selfridges is doing a big pop-up for Skims and my Fendi SA in Selfridges is fantastic. She basically made sure that I got an invite to book a slot for an appointment to try on the stuff and to buy. And thank God I did actually, because the sizing is a little bit all over the place. We're going to cover it. Depending on what fabric you go for, the sizes are varying. If you are going to Selfridges, they basically have a lot of the accessories, a lot of the clothes, not all of them were out. You had to like ask for specific things. And I was actually intrigued because some of the stuff I tried on that I did not like when I like saw it online or whatever, um, I ended up really, really liking. So we will get into it. I'm going to start off with the small thing, which is an accessory. Also, everything um, came in the Fendi bags. I know that the Fendi skim stuff is coming in like purple boxes and everything. They didn't have any of that at Selfridges. I think just, I don't know, it wasn't delivered in time or they weren't prepared for it or whatever. But I reckon if you buy online, it's all gonna come in the purple boxes and all of that. Okay, so I did pick up um, an accessory. I'll also be going through pricing. I did pick up an accessory. Sorry, I'm flustered, okay? I just came from there. Then I was like, I have to do, I have to do a review and a try on and all of that business. I have to get the information up there. Okay, Cassie, get on with it, get on with it. Okay, so I got, You've got this fabulous little Fendi Skims dust bag. It reminds me very much of the Fendi Nicki Minaj collaboration, do we, lest, lest we forget. Um, I don't know, this purple. Um, so I basically got an overpriced makeup bag. Yes, they are doing these in three sizes, right? This is the biggest size that they do, and it is £330. Everything has the purple Fendi Skims tags on it and all of that business. But why did I decide to go for this overpriced makeup bag? Because I have kind of like been wanting to bougie my makeup bags for a while now. You know, there's only so long one can uh, rely on free gift with purchase makeup bags, which is what I've currently been doing. I have a really cute little Louis Vuitton one and I've been wanting to get like different brands for each kind of like makeup bag, just that it's not all matching. You know, it's a little bit fun, a little bit interesting. So I saw this one, this comes in three colors. You've got it in the brown, you've got white with a kind of olive, you've got a future and you've got a coral. Now, like I said, this is the biggest of three sizes. It is really nicely kind of coated in the inside is, hear it, a little bit of ASMR there, enjoy. It's um, waterproof, uh, coated, all of that business. So if there's any spillages, you don't need to worry and be like, oh my gosh, my Fendi makeup bag, you know, like you're absolutely fine. You've got two little, two little back pockets there for, I don't know, whatever you want to organize in your makeup bag. But you know, as far as makeup bags go, it's a pretty decent size there. Um, and I like it, but let's be honest, that's not the most fun thing in here, is it? But I did just want to inform you if you did want something small from this collection, you didn't want to, you know, go with the ready to wear, especially because of the price of some of these things. Have a look at the makeup bags. They do a really, really cute little one that would be cute like within a bag as well. So do not sleep on it. The clothing items. So I got something here for me, something here for my mother. She was, I was FaceTiming her, of course I was when I was trying things on. And I was like, do you want this? Do you want that? Because you've got to, you've got to hook it up, you know? Especially because me and my mum have uh, similarish tastes. So there we go. Okay, they came in these like paper boxes. Fine, whatever, again, I really don't care that much. But okay. Is this mine? This is mine. By the way, I have a shopping vlog going through the try on and the pieces that didn't make it and all of that coming, um, I think Monday next week, it's going to be up. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to have other things in the shopping vlog, but it's going to have the, the Fendi Skims try ons as well. Okay, so I got 
the two piece in the Fendi skims, are you saying? No, you're not. So here's a picture. <laughs> Debossed fabric. And this comes with a matching skirt. Annoyingly, these come together as a set. So you can't say, I want to size this in the top, a size this in the bottom. You have to choose the one size for all, which usually I'm smaller on the top than I am on the bottom, but you'll see when I try it on, this actually worked. This particular fabric, if you're looking for anything in this collection in this fabric, I would suggest sizing up, okay? Because I would usually be a 38 thereabouts in these kind of Fendi pieces, and especially because it had some stretch. Uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. The ego was deflated massively when I tried it on. Um, the 38 was just not happening. I got this in a 40 and it fits perfectly. The skirt, you have a zip all the way down the back. Let me show you the little FF Fendi zip there. Are you seeing him? He's happy. He's doing his job. He's looking cute doing it. Um, the other thing I like about this set is that there's not too much midriff on show. I don't know. Am I a prude? I'm not entirely sure. I just don't like too much of the middle section happening. So I like that you, I mean, you can adjust how much you want it to be. But in general, I don't think that there's too much on show. And the best thing about these two is that obviously you can mix and match. You can do whatever you want with each. Enjoy yourself, all of that. This is in the cream or off-white colour. For size reference, I haven't even told you this, I am a UK 10 US 6 and I got a 40 in the set. Good evening. Table for two, please. Sorry, what? Isn't this so cute? Let me show you without the jacket. I just put the jacket on for just, just for a little bit of drama. Why am I getting a cheeky Miami dinner? Sorry. This is really cute, okay? I'm just, I'm very into it. It's very comfortable. There's a bit of stretch, a little bit of stretch there. Squat, squat test. She's all the way sodding down, of course she is. Now, obviously here we have, we've dressed it up a little bit and obviously you can switch out. But let me just show you a little bit more of a casual moment. She's cute, she's casual, okay? Jacket wise, what could we do? We could do a little cardigan moment, you know? We could do, I don't know if this is gonna be too much. Is it working? Is it working? I can't tell, I'm not looking at the viewfinder, but I think I think we might have something. If this has made it into the edits, then I think it looked all right. <laughs> Why did I choose cream? Because I've previously spoken about the fact that I can't be trusted with white. It was this or purple. And honestly, I'm gonna have to deal with it, aren't I? I'm just gonna have to manoeuvre my way out of um, treacherous, potentially treacherous situations, you know? Also, I wanted to highlight the zip, okay? Because it goes all the way down. And then what happens, if we give her a little bit of flair. Oh, she's a little bit more athletic. Oh, she could play volleyball in this dress. She couldn't, she couldn't, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. You know, a lot can be done. And I think my entire tag was out that whole time. Apologies, let's pretend that that didn't happen. This was 1,250 pounds for the set. The second piece is a piece that I got for my mother. Now, I was actually between this piece and the piece that I got for me. But I kind of thought, do you want to know what? Let me go for the two-piece thing. I liked it when it first came out and all of that. And this is a little bit more low-key. This is the black chenille dress. It's like a midi dress, right? Really, let me tell you, this fabric surprised me. Because when I saw the images, I was just like, what is this sort of like faux suede looking thing? No, thank you. First of all, the stretch. Oh my gosh, you could do Olympic sports in this. It is fantastically stretchy. It's just extremely comfortable. Very, very soft, okay? I have, this is, I think this is the first time I've ever touched chenille, whatever the hell chenille is, but I'm enjoying it, right? This looks fantastic on. With the chenille items, I would say go a size down. Just because there's a lot more stretch in these, they're a lot, they look very flattering. The only downside I would say on this one is that there's no zip from top to bottom. You have a zip on the side, which I'm not, I'm not really sure what much that, what much that helps, Cassie. What kind of a sentence is that? I'm not sure that helps very much. So it's an over the head situation. 
right? Which, um, I don't know, it gives me like a little moment of claustrophobia when I'm getting it on, I'm like, Ugh! Um, but then when it's on, it's fine. It's not something that you're going to look at and know that it's from this collection, but it does look fantastic and it's very figure hugging and like, sucks you in and looks great this that i got my mum is a 36 which would probably be one size too small for me but i'll try it on for you anyway just so that you get an idea of what it looks like on and everything like i said this is probably about a size smaller than what i would go for but look at the sodden stretch look at the sodden stretch on that fantastic yes a little bit too small for me but you get the idea it really it's like a sodding glove. Very soft material, let me tell you. I could just sort of be doing this throughout the night, wherever I was being taken to in this dress. Again, you can make this casual or you can make this, you know, fancy and whatever. Classic timeless cut, like, you know, a nice little mock neck, short sleeved midi dress is not going to go out of style, especially not in black. She is luxurious and fabulous and all of the sodding things. Now, how much was this one? This one was, was 1,390, okay? So more expensive than the embossed pieces. Guys, let me know what you thought of what I picked up from Fendi X Skims. Um, I hope that this was helpful, especially if you're planning on shopping on the 9th of November. A little bit of size information and pricing and all of that. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.